It persists. Are not to be hurried, and we should not be worried that you have been told about sympathist, a cyst that can be cancerous. Sympathist are never cancerous. The only time that you can operate a sympathist is if it either goes an ovarian portion, it coils on itself, because that time it can damage the ovary, and it's normally very very painful. My name is Dr. Washira Murage, uh, consultant obstetrician and gynecologist at the Savannah Hospital. And today we are going to have a brief discussion and inform our viewers about ovarian cysts so that we are more knowledgeable, so that whenever we do ultrasounds and we get ovarian cysts, then we know exactly what we are dealing with. Now, ovarian cysts are normally growths in the ovary, that's why they are called ovarian cysts, they're in the ovary. And since there are some growths in the ovary, then they are called ovarian cysts. They can be divided into two. They are simple or benign, and they can also be malignant in some people. But the simple and benign are the commonest uh, ovarian cysts that we encounter all the time. The causes are basically most of the time hormonal. Let me start with the simple cysts. Simple cysts are just growths in the, in the ovary, occur after ovulation. Whenever a lady ovulates, then you have what is called a cyst that was carrying the egg. Once the egg is extruded or it's ovulated, then that particular structure remains as a simple ovarian cyst. And then it disappears with the time. And that should not make someone uh, worried because it is not cancerous. That's why they're saying it uh, simple or a benign ovarian cyst. Sometimes you can have cysts that come even without ovulation. They are normally hormonal. For example, the polycystic ovarian cyst. Now the benign and simple ovarian cyst are cysts, as we have said, they are not cancerous. They are not even uh, having any symptomatology. So most of the time, you find that a lady was doing a scan maybe for fibroids or for something else, maybe a pain elsewhere, and then they get an incidental simple ovarian cyst. And they're not, the treatment for simple benign ovarian cyst is that you do not do anything. You just give them time, and then after about two months, the scan just to see whether changing. If you find an ovarian cyst is enlarging, then you need to be concerned. If you find a simple benign ovarian cyst is changing, it's becoming complex. That's the only time you can try and do more. Otherwise, simple benign ovarian cysts are just conservative, conservatively managed. You check on them, do a scan after two months, and then be able to see if they have disappeared, well and good. If they're becoming bigger, then you get to really get concerned and then follow up again. And if they keep growing big, that's the time now you can consider surgery. Then of course, the other cysts that are a bit suspicious. If you do an ultrasound, then you get a cyst that is complicated. Sometimes the sonographer or the radiologist will say, ill-defined, solid, and is surrounded by some fluid. So that is a cyst that you really get consigned. Ill-defined means that it is holding other tissues around and therefore that is a cyst that one needs to investigate more. And how do you investigate more? If you have done an ultrasound and then you have the complicated cyst or the suspicious cyst with those features that you have described, then you go ahead and do an MRI so that you can get more details. And then you do a test called the CA125. It's a cancer marker for cancer of the ovary. And then you are able uh, to see what is happening to it. And if you are suspicious, then that is a cyst that you can quickly go for surgery and then uh, get the histology of it. And if the histology suggests that it is cancer, you can go to chemotherapy. There are some times that it's obvious that an ovarian cyst is cancerous. For example, if the lady has been complaining of pain, 
if the lady has been worsening and this we get in, in the older ladies postmenopausal ladies and if the abdomen is becoming bigger that means that they have fluid uh, which is in the in the abdomen and they are wasted and then you do an ultrasound they tell you this is this is this is a, a big cyst which is complex you defined it even has the regional lymph nodes around then most likely is cancerous and of course for for an ovarian cyst that is cancerous in a lady the surgery is basic the uterus has to come out both ovaries and then you have to cut piece of uh, of the of the fat that covers that cyst is called omentum and then of course you have to go for the lymph nodes so once you get the staging after doing that now that's when you now can go to uh, chemotherapy first you can have the injectable chemotherapy and then you can have the maintenance uh, uh, chemotherapy uh, to swallow so simple cysts are not to be hurried and we should not be worried that you have been told about simple cysts a cyst that can be cancerous simple cysts are never cancerous the only time that you can operate because i've been seen many clients when they are they are told of cysts they come running because they have been told they have to be operated they are quickly coming becoming cancerous and they, then they run the only time that you can operate a simple cyst is if it undergoes an ovarian portion, it coils on itself because that time it can damage the ovary and it's normally very, very painful. So in such circumstances, then you can operate an ovarian cyst. In pregnancy, ovarian cysts are very, very common, very, very common. And in the first trimester, the first three months of pregnancy, they are called corpus luteum and they support the pregnancy. So those ones again, they should be left undisturbed, given the due time, because after three months, they normally disappear. There's also something else of the ovarian cyst that I would like to mention as I wind up. Number one is PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Those are multiple cysts that form around the ovary. Again, they are not cancerous, but they can cause a few problems. Number one, they may give the lady a bit of hair, excess hair like beards, they may get some bit of acne, and they may also get a port, we call it central obesity, and sometimes the periods are irregular. And if they are looking for a baby, you may find that they have what is called subfertility. Why? The PCOS produces some bit of male hormones, and those are the ones that cause all those problems. So we have medication. We rarely do surgeries these days, and unless maybe it does not respond properly to the medication, but there are medications for PCOS. Also a very interesting ovarian cyst that probably is good to mention is called a teratoma. And this is uh, a cyst that the ladies are normally born with. They had it right from their mother's boobs and it kept growing. And it's not a wonder to operate on a teratoma or a dermoid cyst and be able to get things like hair, things like bones, teeth, all those things can be found in a dermoid cyst. Why I've decided to mention, because many ladies have said, oh, dermoid cyst, maybe Nikurogwa, maybe Nichawi. No, it's an embryological cyst that came up when, when the organs were forming, and then the, 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 those, those um, you know, the hair, the bones that were extra during the formation of organs were, were kind of stored in an area. And with the time, it just grows and grows and grows, and then you find an ovarian cyst. So, ovarian cysts, when they come, they are sick. There should be no worry. If they are a bit complicated, give the doctor a chance to investigate, but always get a second opinion. When you are told to run for surgery, because it's going to be cancerous in an ovarian cyst, please be careful, because most of the ovarian cysts are simple, ovarian cyst and they just manage conservatively and they always disappear on their own.